Hey also guys, Eskazoo here and welcome to episode 14 of Skill into Glory and uh, in the previous episode we secured promotion to division 5 but we still have two games left and we still need two more points in order to win the division title in division 6 so uh, that's the main thing we're going to try to do in this episode two games left so um, hopefully that will be enough to win the division uh, title as well so going on what will be the first game of the episode coming up against a Premier League team a pretty strong looking one as well 4-3-1-2 formation and uh, it was us starting off after three minutes with Carrillo with some fantastic skill it was a cheeky sombrero flick to a volley which got deflected unfortunately not the greatest shot on target then 40th minute my opponent gets himself a chance here as well not really the greatest shot kind of a weak shot from Welbeck but an easy save for my keeper then straight after that I tried to go on the counter completely messed up with the throw but luckily enough after that he completely skied with Lalana. so um, yeah we got very lucky there just before the end of the first half because uh, we could have been down 1-0 uh, then moving into the second half straight from kickoff a nice run there from Arda plays on through to Pato who does hit the crossbar there from uh, from his weaker foot unfortunately the rebound didn't go in either so uh, yeah another big chance in this game for us uh, the 55th minute shortly after he going a really nice play here between Pato Arda and also uh, Danilo I think a chance here from Pato which he puts wide after he hit the crossbar, again a big chance with him. This one didn't go in either. So, um, yeah, really annoying. Again, only a minute later or so, Musona with some skill. Mus pick it up here with Danilo, who takes a shot from outside the box and hits the post as well. Like, seriously, nothing would go in. It was it was just so annoying. It was kind of like uh, the uh, the previous episode of Fatal yesterday, where I just couldn't score anything. But uh, right here is our cheeky penna from Pato. Good save there from his goalkeeper. So... Another huge chance. The 75th minute, we gave away a free kick from quite some distance. And then look at this. He actually just shoots it in like it's nothing with Lalana to make it 1-0 for him. Now, three minutes later, he picked up another free kick with Barkley. And guess what? He scored from it as well. Not a direct free kick, but um, he hits it in with Welbeck. And I don't really know what the positioning was from my goalkeeper because it looked really weird. But um, yeah, he was 2-0 up. We got like 10 minutes of playtime or something, so I think I went on ultra attacking and mainly because of that my, my midfielders, my defense just wasn't looking that great and we conceded the 3-0 as well. It was basically all or nothing for me because there were only like a few minutes left, had to score three goals in order to win. And uh, you can see from the stats as well, even though we got so many chances, it only said that we only had one shot on target, which in my opinion didn't really make sense. But I think that if you hit the post or something or hit the crossbar, it doesn't count as a shot on target, which I think is kind of weird. But um, yeah, anyway, going what will be the final game. This is the game we just had to win. I decided to switch up teams uh, back to the 4-3-2-1 skill team. And uh, we come up against a Bundesliga side. Five at the back formation. Uh, actually, one of the first five at the back formations I've come up against this FIFA. So, um, yeah, come up against this team. He started off great, actually, with Hermann. It gets a shot in. But I think he had one of his strikers there at the end when he came in with a tackle. And that ended up being offside. Then 20th minute, a nice one-two here with, uh, I think, Ramos and a Korean player. I'm not too sure who it is. But he makes it 1-0. And um, yeah, we go down. Not the greatest way to start off this game since it was pretty much the final game in Division 6. And if we want to win the title, we just had to win this game because we needed two more points. And I just tried my best so, so much. Couldn't really create much in the first half. The second half, we got a, not really like a big chance, I would say. Um, then a few minutes later, we did get a big chance here with Quadrado. Hits the post, just like in the previous game. Like, we just, we just kept on hitting the woodwork. Then 63rd minutes to make it worse for us. We gave away a penalty. You can see right there. I tried to tackle the ball uh, off him with Marquinhos. Gave away a penalty and he scored from it again with uh, with Ramos. To make it 2-0. So it was going to be a really, really tough 15 minutes for me. And to make it worse as well. He makes it 3-0 with Ramos. Completes his hat-trick. And um, yeah, I knew it was over. Because 3-0 down. Scoring four goals in only 10 minutes is just impossible. So um, yeah, only had to play the remaining minutes. Still tried to score a goal. Just for myself, we did get a chance with Alan, which went wide. The 67th minute, a huge chance with Muriel. Pass it across to Carrillo. And this one didn't go in either. Like, I was just so done with this game. I mean, I just couldn't score. I don't know why, but the goalkeeper saved it. The, the, the freaking post was in our way. Or, yeah, we just shot it off target. So, um, yeah, that means we still promote to Division 5, which is uh, something on the bright side, I guess. Because uh, you can see right there, we did promote. We get 4.8k. And with those uh, coins, I uh, decided to actually make a new team, which you will see shortly. Um, also decided to sell on most of the players from the previous squads. 
Um, also kept a few just like Karasma because I think I might use him in a uh, next uh, next uh, squad maybe soon or something. But anyway, this is the first team I decided to make. Again, 4-3-3-4 formation. The formation I probably will stick throughout this entire series since it is my favorite formation. Um, in goal we have Diego Alves. Then we got Gaia and Mangala also from Valencia. Then uh, we got two Semedo guys. Semedo from Sporting and Benfica. We got Danilo, great center midfielder. We got uh, Vieto as a center attacking mid. Other center mid is going to be Kovacic, also four star skill moves on him. We still got Musonla as the left winger, five star skill moves, five star weak foot. Striker Ben Yedder, four star skill moves, five star weak foot, I think. And the right winger is once again going to be Carrillo. So uh, that is the first team. It is, I guess, the weakest team uh, I made out of the two because this team actually looks really, really good. Um, 4 3 3 formation again. In goal, we have Perrin. Uh, we used him as well in a previous team, even though he kind of messed up this episode. I still want to use him. Uh, left back, we have Wendell there from Bayer Leverkusen. Looks great. Uh, center backs, we have Tonelli, who I used in the previous squad. And also Rudiger. Looks like a really cheap kind of center back duo with some great stats. Right back, we have Perez. 92 pace. Looks like a fantastic right back. Um, Asamoah there. Four star skill was on him. Kept him into the team. We got Parotti as well as the center attacking mid. Four star skill was five star weak foot. Ellen as well. Back into the team. More of the defensive kind of player. And then we got the big new signing in Douglas Costa. Picked him up for. Just under 30k, which is a lot because I think right now he goes for like 22k. But this was recorded a little while ago. Um, striker, we do have Muriel, still the lone version. If something happens with him, then I can either uh, switch him out for Niang. Even though Niang doesn't get chemistry, but I might pick up uh, Matthias Fernandes too. As a sort of replacement for Perotti and also to give uh, him full chemistry. Uh, then as a right winger, we have another 5-star skill obviously in Quadrado. And uh, that is pretty much the team. So uh, in the next episode, we're going to be playing some, uh, some games with these two squads. Um, also for the next episode, I'm going to be trying to upload two times tomorrow. Two episodes of Skill into Glory. So let me know in the comments down below if you like that, of course, and also drop a like on the video if you want to see that. But anyway, that's going to be the end. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then make sure to leave a like. It would be very much appreciated. So I'd like to thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.